Hello, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and This Bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lie, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers, new motherfuckers too. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for my Leo Moon gods. All right, guys, this is going to be for the 5th through the 15th of June, 2020. For my Leo moons up in this motherfucker, there's something that's getting ready to break or I feel like something is breaking. This could be uh, somebody, I'm getting like somebody is, it's like they're um, giving in, okay? Or somebody could be breaking in. I'm also getting, uh, some of you guys could be dealing with somebody from the past that could be returning to you. So. This could be people that you did not want to deal with anymore. Okay. But we're going to find out what's going on. We're just going to get the overall messages. I'm going to get different spreads. Shit the spirit wants you to know about, baby. So let's see what's going on to my Leo moons. From the 5th through the 15th of June. All right. Here we go. Something is sliding. All right, so far we have the King of Wands energy here. So you already know this is you. This could be you mapping out something. I'm also getting you could be dealing with another Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or you're definitely got, somebody has some plans coming your direction. Okay, so, uh, so far I have the King of Wands and also the Ten of Wands here. So some of you guys, I'm seeing that you're definitely working here or there's something that you're going to be working and gearing yourself towards now it looks to me like you might be tired or somebody is definitely tired of carrying something here i feel like some of you guys have been sweeping some things under the rug okay this could be with a virgo taurus capricorn or somebody that's definitely having some financial issues with this uh king of pentacles here i'm also getting um king and queen of pentacles some of you guys are both coming together in your finances or there is something going on between you two that you might be having a hard time sharing with each other. I'm getting scorpion energy here as well. So there could be something that comes in and makes this shake down. Okay. It also could be a work situation or a work environment that you're dealing with for sure. All right. I have the three of wands. This could be you expanding, waiting for your ships to come in. I also feel like somebody is getting... To me, I got two different energies here. I have the Magician and the Queen of Cups, okay? One is manifesting and one is emotional. And I'm also getting that there could be some, like, two different energies that you might be dealing with, okay? This could be outside parties or outside people. But I feel like you're definitely manifesting here, Leo Moons. This could be uh, somebody that's very smart, very intelligent with this Hermit, also the Magician, Okay, I feel like there's a lot of ancient wisdom that's around or somebody is really using their light here. I'm also getting seven of swords in reverse. So there's some truth that's going to come to light. I'm also seeing this could be with a Leo Sagittarius Aries or somebody is feeling heartbroken or there were some things that were exchanged or said uh, in words that were definitely hurting here. Or somebody could be saying something that's hurting you hurting your ears as well too i'm getting ears with the justice energy she's got her ears covered i'm also seeing with the nine of cups um something is coming to a final close or a final decision i'm getting a lot of you uh could have been dealing with somebody that was in the shadows or there was a lot of um illusions that could have been around you that could have been hidden in the shadows you got the page of swords here at the bottom of the deck as well too give me another spread for my Leo moons. Give me another spread for my Leo moons. Give me something good. I feel some of you guys are definitely turning your back away from a situation, especially if somebody is not communicating properly. Okay. Okay, Ace of Wands here. 
full energy an eight of wands so i'm getting there's communication somebody that you could have dropped some sort of um could be a third party situation or just overall you were not giving them any of your time or any of your day this person definitely could have had some issues with being able to um to me it looks like communicate But I'm seeing there's some sort of communication all of a sudden. This could be with another Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting Capricorn energy for some of you guys. It could be very lower level vibrational energy you're dealing with. I'm also seeing with this Wheel of Fortune, you feel like there's some sort of end that's never an end. It could be with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. I'm also getting Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys are tired of two different energies or two different people here. I'm getting with the five of swords somebody feels defeated is what i'm getting here leo moon i also feel uh there's a decision that somebody's very indecisive towards or somebody doesn't see the error of their fucking ways very uh egotistical very narrow-minded is what i'm getting here this person also could have a sexual problem or mischievous behavior with that devil or holding on Yeah, I definitely feel like somebody is holding on to some words that were said or something that was definitely said. Uh, and they're feeling heartbroken over this situation. Could have been a third party situation or some things that were transpiring before or once before. But I feel like it's coming in all kinds of ways, okay? If you see those swords. Give me something else for my Leo moons. I'm getting Cancer Pisces Scorpio is wanting to come your direction. This could be a romantic offer. This also could be Scorpio. You have the Ten of Cups in the Tower. So I feel like someone is either being silenced here or somebody is falling off their ass. It could be because of family situation, family scenario. I'm also getting with the Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody might feel stuck or like they don't have any offers, but I still see them being content. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like somebody's keeping their options open or somebody's in their thoughts or in their head about what they're going to choose with keeping these options open, okay? This could be somebody who's, to me, I feel like somebody's imprisoned in their mind, all right? I'm also getting that some of you guys are afraid of independence or you're afraid of dropping your guard down, of giving people, you know, all of you and they're not giving a damn thing of you, a damn thing to you, okay? You got the Nine of Swords here as well. So I feel somebody's all up in their head and their worries. Could be some obsession here, okay? But I'm also seeing with the Ten of Pentacles, uh, somebody's either thinking about long-term wise, their stability, or I feel like they're thinking about letting go of a lot of people that brought in a lot of instability when it comes down to their love life or messaging other people, getting messages is what I'm seeing here. You could definitely be dealing with a Cancerian, okay? Or this could be in their sun, moon, or rising. I'm also seeing a Scorpio energy, but I feel somebody feels defeated, okay? Somebody wants to have an end. There could be a child that's involved, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I'm also getting with this justice energy here. Somebody's going to have some justification coming in very soon, okay? Now, I feel like some of you all might feel defeated towards making a final answer or giving a final truth, all right? I see that some of you guys definitely could be dealing with multiple parties or you're in this mind space of having to let go and you're just kind of not quite sure. You're just, you know, in the in-betweens. Give me one more spread for my Leo moons. I do see the magician you could be dealing with a Gemini and Aries and also a Virgo, okay? They all share Mars. I feel like something's going down in Mars that might be affecting you as well. I'm seeing you all making decisions here with this uh, Two of Pentacles. This could be a decision towards a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or somebody that was going back and forth with feeling defeated, okay? And doing too much work, okay? This could be a marriage here with a Scorpio, I'm also seeing with the temperance energy, you're coming into a lot of balance. A Leo, Sagittarius, Aries could be making their way towards you as well. Eight of Wands here. 
So I'm seeing somebody's wanting to come your way. Somebody could be communicating with you. I feel um, this is definitely a fire sign. If not, they're on the move, okay? They're on the move to you is what I'm seeing here. Now, some of you guys definitely could be dealing with somebody's communication or somebody that's having issues with being able to understand how they love life is going to turn out, okay? I do feel like somebody feels disconnected. Give me some more. All right, there's definitely a decision here, okay? Some of you guys could have contemplated this decision because you also have the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Swords here. And I'm getting somebody might be falling flat on their face with this King of Cup energy here or somebody that's trying to ignore their emotions, all right? But I am also seeing with this magician, somebody feels like there's uh, some manipulation that's going on between you two. It's kind of like somebody's awaiting at nighttime uh, to hear a response from somebody or some sort of text message. I'm also getting with uh, the tower here and the Six of Cups. This could be dealing with somebody who's insecure, all right, could be due to a childhood circumstance or some children or some memories in the past. I feel like there needs to be a change or there's going to be a sudden change. But somebody's very jealous here, so just be aware of that. I do feel like with the strength energy, somebody is definitely going through a, a struggle. Okay, and I feel like some of you guys are going to prevail on top, especially with seeing the true signs or being called out. Somebody's being called out on their shit with this judgment energy, okay, with the trumpets of Gabriel. But be aware of somebody that's ending a situation completely. I do feel like it's the best of good because somebody feels limited or restricted here. Okay? So, uh, possible outcomes. Ace of Pentacles, Hermit Energy, and Three of Cups. So, in the end, when you're shutting the situation down or closing it out because somebody's hard to control or somebody's not wanting to go with the rules, okay, or following the rules... I feel like somebody's going to break free from that situation, okay? Somebody's definitely thinking about exploring, or there could be a celebration that's coming up that somebody's watching. I feel somebody's not really uh, happy with this commitment, but there's some traveling that could be coming up with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Leos, let's see what the Romance Angels have to say. Here we go. All right, so far you have engagement here in healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, okay? And your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So somebody's either seeing where they need to fix, okay, where they need to elevate. I'm also seeing where there's an engagement here where things are being heightened. Somebody could be looking at engagement rings or there's something very soon you're going to have to make a decision to, like I said. But don't let people derail you or deter you from making these decisions with a healthy, conscious mind, okay? It says, clearly decide what you want so that it will come to you now. And true love, this is a romance of a lifetime, okay? Now, let's see what the oracle messages have to say. Because I do feel like there's a commitment that's coming up or a celebration that's coming up, but somebody's very jealous here. You may not even know it. Okay. Yeah, it's time for a treat. So it's time for something good. If you've been dealing with a lot of negative, low vibrational energy, it's time to clear yourself away from that. Okay. Or somebody definitely could be overindulgent or they just are selfish as fuck. Now, what was this? You see clearly clairvoyance. Okay. Give me one more for my Leo Moons. For the 5th through the 15th. It says a clear solution. Okay, so there's something coming up. Now, some of you guys might be hexing motherfuckers and telling them to, you know, back the fuck off. You got voodoo and blue. Some of you guys might be dealing with somebody who's done some magic or there could be magic that's involved. But it's saying don't lose hope because there's something good coming up on the horizon. Okay, and when the, when the eclipse changes, there's definitely going to be a new shift coming towards you. Okay. So for a lot of you guys, I'm seeing that there could be some people that are coming up from the past, okay? But I'm also getting that there's an, a wonderful idea that could be coming to you. That could be that Ace of Pentacles that you got. And also that Three of Cups. It could be family and friends that are coming in to help you. 
But I'm getting that there could be some strange love. Some of y'all might be like a little blue ugly monster. <laughs> but I'm seeing um, there could be somebody that has a lot of envy for you or just overall somebody is stalkerish. Okay. But I'm seeing that you're going to love who you want. All right. Whether or not they look different, they're different than what you're used to. People are expecting you to have these expectations and love and they can, you can tell them to kiss your motherfucking ass, but it's definitely time for something good for you. Okay. But I see that that's definitely coming up for you. A lot of you guys, I'm also seeing that the spirit realm has your back as well. And you're going through a lot of personal fucking growth. Okay. So, all right, my loves, I hope that you love this series. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal reading from me, hit that description box down below and check out my website, therosemoon.com. And I'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Peace.